Thank you. Well, good afternoon in the true Bermudian way. We always say good afternoon or good morning. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm very proud to be here representing the Bermuda Sloop Foundation uh, this afternoon to talk about youth development. And I'd like to take you back to uh, when the first thoughts were put in place uh, in, on this project. And that's back in the early 90s. And Bermuda was really a very different place. Uh, we were transitioning from tourism to international business. And you would think that uh, with the onset of the World Wide Web, that education would be improving. Uh, and you know, we had a super high school at the time. We had all the bricks and mortar, all the facilities that you could ever want for good education. But you know, some things, uh, this is an academic question. You know, the physics of cracking an egg, well, why on earth do we need to study that academically? Surely, there's another whole part uh, to cracking an egg. And of course, it's doing it. You want to crack the egg, you know, <laughs> make your hard-boiled egg or your scrambled egg, whatever it is. And at the same time, uh, I was chairman of a technical education advisory committee at the Bermuda College. We were seeing you know, uh, really <laughs> poor... <laughs> yeah, well, let me just... Some of you may not be able to see that, but... The, you know, here's a question. A simple three, four, five triangle, and it has two of the dimensions, and it asks you where is... What is X? And you know, here's the student saying, "Here it is." You know, so this wasn't Waldo that we were doing. <laughs> but and in this book, and I encourage you to get a copy of it. It's absurd some of the things that people come up with. But there was another question where they, the student was asked, "Well, define what learning is all about." And, and the student said. It's when information goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> well, I move that that's exactly what we uh, want to correct. And uh, the, the brain has two sides. The left side deals with academic learning, and then we have a right side that deals with communicating and you know, a bit more action. But the, the, there's even more to the body. You know, the body's a part of us, and, and we learn so much better when we can apply left brain, right brain, our body, and then the fourth dimension, when learning really goes off the charts, is when you get your emotion involved and your spirit involved. So with that as a sort of a predecessor to our, our project, uh, we... Uh, then looked to see if there was something else that might be, you know, be really useful to excite our kids uh, in learning. And the, the three of us who were the founders were all sailors, so it wasn't surprising that we looked at the maritime history first. And Bermuda's maritime history is incredible. Uh, our forefathers, and they were black and white, uh, they were uh, fishermen, they were merchants delivering cargo, and by necessity, they had to sail, uh, you know, southwest. You know, boats arrived in St. George's and needed to, to get to Hamilton or get to the western parishes. They had to go upwind. They had to attack the wind. And the fishermen, the really good fishing grounds, are out off the southwest. So again, they needed to get there. You don't want to spend all day trying to get to your fishing ground. Uh, and they created the Bermuda rig, which is that triangular sail. And that triangular sail is used on over 90% of vessels today. It was a huge invention. And, and this picture uh, shows, uh, this is a John Lynn pa painting in the uh, early 1800s. And it shows a Bermuda rig vessel uh, down off of Port Royal in Jamaica. Now, she was the internet of that era. If you wanted to run messages, uh, precious cargo, 
you needed a vessel like this. It would get there, it would get there quickly. Uh, it was, you know, the internet and it was also the FedEx. <laughs> so, and, and even more than that, the Bermudians built ships uh, and they crewed these ships and they crewed them really well. So there's a rich maritime history there that we can build on. People like uh, the British and the French came to Bermuda uh, to buy these vessels and they needed Bermudians to help crew them to get used to them. Nelson came, or sent a lieutenant here uh, to, to buy a vessel which was used in Trafalgar, and it spied on the enemy. It, uh, during Trafalgar, it ran the orders, like you would a phone or the internet, up and down the line, close in here, cut them off, take that one out. Uh, and then when Trafalgar was won, they had to send the news back to the UK, where they selected two vessels. And the HMS Pickle, which was the Bermuda-built vessel, arrived over two days uh, before the next vessel. So that's, a, you know, that's just a little bit of history uh, about uh, the Bermuda, you know, our Bermuda maritime history that we want our kids to uh, learn about. So we embarked then on, you know, how can we, you know, use that history, get the, both sides of the brain, the body, the spirit, all working in one. And so we went looking at educational models that, uh, that embraced experiential learning. And the one that we found was the most appropriate for our cause was the EL schools model. And this was developed by Harvard and Outward Bound and uh, it's now used in uh, 165 schools in the U.S. Uh, with 45,000 students, 4,500 teachers, and the success is incredible. Because what they do is they engage both sides of the brain, uh, they engage the body, uh, and, and do real subjects that you know, compel kids to learn uh, in, a, in a really good way. And spirit, uh, we, we said to our designers, and they thought we were nuts at first, because, you know, it's a, a, a ship with highly raked mass, no booms on two of the, of the mass. And we said, well, that's what was in the Lynn painting. We're going to figure it out. But it has to be a boat that's fast. It has to be, you know, capable of holding its own, you know, in any race that comes along. And she certainly does that. Now, what Spirit does, uh, that all of our uh, areas on the vessel, be it the cockpit or here, the nav station, uh, they're all designed for group access because it's all about learning, learning and doing at the same time. Then you get real rich uh, learning going on. And here you see uh, Captain Chris Blake with seven kids around the nav station. Now, if you've been in, <laughs> in many uh, sailing vessels, a nav station is like a closet. You can't get kids in. But we designed her, we did a full-scale mock-up of the vessel to make sure we could have group access. And there's all sorts of teamwork going on. Uh, you can't pull the sails up on your own. You have to do it together. So there's rich learning going on uh, all the time. And I have a, there'll be a video here in a minute that will show this even better. And then we have great mentoring going on. Uh, this shows Mario Swainson, who's a young Bermudian who, who joined our uh, foundation very early on as a young man in, when he was 17. He's now 24, and, and he's our first officer. I mean, he's working on, you know, getting himself fully qualified. Uh, hopefully one day he'll be captain on spirit. He is our captain for some of the local work, but hopefully he'll be able uh, to be an international captain in, in due course. But to have a young man like Mario as a mentor to other young Bermudians is tremendous. Uh, this is uh, 
DVD uh, that, that was done, it, it shows you in a more graphic way than I can explain some of the things that go on on Spirit. Let me show you what I said. They can keep a good man down, always keep a smile when they Some of the goals we try to instill in our students. Keep a and I stood my ground, will never ever take my crown. The great equalizer on a vessel I means that. has gone wrong. Seems we've lost our way. But for us, this is not how the story ends. No. We braved rough seas before. And we'll do it again. Safety is paramount. So that they all wear harnesses when they're out at sea. Strength is at the core of us. A kindness that still shines. The other really great thing is that Bermuda is small, so we're able to get to all of the kids with the, with the appropriate funding. All of the kids in the government schools spend uh, five days and four nights on spirit. Uh, so that's another unique positive for Bermuda being small. We can get 500 kids a year going through these programs. They learn to apply their math and their geography in, in a real world setting. And the learning sticks. They learn to work together. They, they do, uh, some kids surprisingly haven't done much housework when they come to Spirit, but no one's immune uh, when, when you're on, on her, one of her voyages. Safety is paramount. So we, every, uh, every group that goes out has a, is immersed in a safety training uh, at the beginning. Gain hands-on learning, talking about weather systems right in the cockpit. And they do journals each day. On the overseas voyages, we learn uh, celestial navigation. Just in case the batteries die, you want to be able to get home. thousand kids go through the program in six years we've covered 40,000 miles I've been to about 15 different countries uh, but our hope is that she'll become an icon for Bermuda again with that rich history uh, and again them having an experience of five days and then uh, hopefully coming in and doing a follow-up program on the overseas voyages uh, It'll be something that they really appreciate and feel good about. This is a fast forward of her being built. Now I'd like to uh, welcome uh, Heather Nova out onto the stage. Heather uh, was a former director of ours. Heather grew up uh, on the sea, uh, and, and she wrote this fantastic song called Together as One. And listen to the lyrics carefully. It's, it's superb. Is this on? OK. Thank you. Yeah, when, when Alan asked me to write a song, it was early on when the sloop was still being built. And I really just tried to get into the heart of the idea and the feeling of, of what it would mean to these kids to be connecting with their Bermuda heritage through this incredible experience of being at sea. And of course also the experience of coming together from all different backgrounds having to work together. And it's been wonderful to hear over the years that, uh, that, that they like the song, they play it when they're sailing and they play it at ceremonies. So it seems to have resonated and uh, meant something, which is really all I ever wish for as a songwriter. So this is called Together as One. The 
the wind is up, I'll take you with me. We'll ride the waves and build a dream together. We'll set the sails and as in life We'll take each turn The fair and stormy weather Cause it's in our hearts It's in our minds With only our fears To leave behind And we'll be sailing To get there Well, thank you so much, Heather, and, and thank you for listening to our story. Uh, hopefully, this may inspire others to do similar things where you connect your history with real-world settings. I mean, we use a lot of other local resources, the aquarium, the Maritime Museum, uh, the BIOS, to bring learning alive. And uh, we're, we're tremendously pleased with the results, but thank you very much.